vlog. We are back in Connecticut. We're back. We're back. Have you uploaded any new YouTube videos? It's going to be uploaded tonight by six o'clock. Oh, wow. Clock in, clock, clock. in. <laughs> I hate wearing lip gloss because I feel like it makes my lips look really fake. Bitch, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it just makes me like, Really? Spider. Oh, I don't like that. Is that a crumb in the middle? <laughs> I was just staring at that. Or it's no, like a pizza eggs. crumb. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm not even kidding, though. Wait, do they look like that? Sometimes they're red. <laughs> no, no, no. Why does it look like a bagel bite? It does. Okay, anyways, guys, I'm going to be kicking off this week's home vlog. It is Tuesday today. I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys wanted to see this week. I said a classic home vlog, reset after traveling weekend in Connecticut with my friends, and what else did I say? Oh, a sit down Q&A. What did they choose? They chose classic home vlog. I feel like I knew they were gonna I think I say that. that one too. You did? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I've been home for like a day. I've been enjoying it so, so much. I just love it here and the weather has been so nice the weather was so bad in paris for the few days that i was there so it's so nice to come back to warm weather here anyways today amanda and i are going to we're going to go make homemade pizza yeah tonight like we're gonna make from scratch so we're gonna make pizza tonight in an uni oven yeah we're gonna make pizza dough now let the dough rise come back have a little pizza and cocktail Ooh, night that. so yeah gonna get started on the pizza dough and yeah, you guys know the drill with this dough. I'm gonna make the same dough recipe that I've been making for all my breads, but okay, this spider needs to be whacked. Okay, I can spray them first so they lose their leverage. <laughs> okay. I lost it. Oh, I'm so upset. No, 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 no. I think it actually jumped somewhere. I knew he was a jumper. <laughs> So I looked up homemade pizza dough recipes because I really do love the dough recipe that I've been using. I literally use that one recipe for like a million different sort of breads. Um, but I've heard that pizza dough is the most finicky because obviously like we want this to work. So I'm gonna follow, it's pretty much like the same recipe. It is the same thing, but it's different measurements. So I will leave the measurements on the screen for you guys, but I'm gonna get into this. Making um, frozen spicy margs. This is the best margarita mix, ripe. We got the spicy one because I wanted like a little bit of a spice, so we're gonna taste test. Okay. Wait, that. That's really good. Is really good. Really good though. Oh, they're different, but it's the same. Different yeah. packaging, but it's the same. Spicy ripe margarita. That is the perfect amount of spice. Yeah, no, it's really good. That was delicious. So we're just gonna add some tequila. Mix and ice and make a little slushy.
good. Making your own dough is the best thing you can do. Who slays that? You help. <laughs> I spread this off. Mm. This morning I would take you guys through my morning routine, filming on my iPhone so I can get really close up to the camera. First thing I do for my skincare is this milking, what's it called? Glazing Milk by Rode Beauty. And guys, I have to say besides this La Prairie, which makes my skin literally um, feel and look like glass, nothing has compared to this for me. This is my favorite product out of all the road products. Before I even applied this on camera for you guys, you might have seen that my skin was already like kind of glassy, glowy looking because I applied a ton of it before bed. I've just been loving the road skincare. I was really um, surprised with how much I love it and have been using it. I did not expect it to be my everyday skincare. I didn't expect to not like it, but I definitely did not expect to like it as much as I do. So that's my current skincare routine. I also do mask a lot. I shared this product on my Instagram story, the In Beauty Gel Cream. I'm gonna use this as my face today. What I like about this is that it's not super like sticky and it doesn't transfer a ton throughout the day. Like a lot of my other bronzing drops start to sort of pill throughout the day. Then I'm gonna go with my favorite Makeup Forever palette. This is really my no makeup makeup look, I guess. I never forget to put bronzer on my eyelids. I am breaking out right here. Um, they really hurt. I talked about that before, but that's the only area I break out. I don't even think I'm going to cover my zits today because I kind of, I don't know, not feeling it. So when I'm doing my no makeup makeup looks, I love to use this concealer from CVS, just the Maybelline. I don't know if it's called the Age Rewind. I feel like that's what it used to be called. You guys know this product. But I use this sort of as a foundation. It's super light and pretty and it's, and it's sort of similar to my skin tone. And then I actually use the same brush that I used for contour just so it all sort of like melts together. I feel like one of the most important steps of the no makeup makeup look is curling your lashes. Like that just made such a difference. I don't know what is going on back there. Okay, just some eyebrow gel. For the lip, I'm using Nude Truffle by NYX. One of my all time favorite nudes. I'm gonna add some very just natural color. And guys, the reason my skin looks so glossy right now is because of that milk stuff. The only similar product that I have was gifted to me and I feel like this retails for like $300, which is crazy. Okay, that's my like simple makeup morning routine. This is the makeup that I do when I have meetings, errands. Probably wear like a little bit more makeup if I was shooting an ad or something for Dairy Boy. But today I just have some errands to run and then I have a very exciting Dairy Boy drop at 1 p.m. for American Charm for our new glass tumblers and straws. And then I just have like a bunch of work stuff today. And I also would love to bake something. So I'll keep you guys posted. I'm gonna go run out now and do some errands. Okay guys, I'm back at my house. Wanna say hi? Hey vlog. My mom is here. I'm gonna make us some homemade bagels. I'm learning how to make I have bread really changed my life. Okay, 
so I have my plain dough. So in my hometown, there's a famous bagel place called Cohen's Bagels, and they make this French toast bagel that is the best bagel that I've ever had, and I'm gonna try to recreate it today. So I put a bunch of cinnamon and sugar, I'm gonna do two egg yolks and some maple syrup and see how that turns out. Two egg yolks. I'm just completely guessing that they add egg yolks to theirs because the bagels are super yellow. See how yellow that is? I'm gonna put this under the dough hook and see what happens. Okay, here's the French toast dough and then there's the plain dough. I'm just gonna cover both of these and let them rise and then I'll clean the kitchen and then make them in like probably 45 minutes. Okay, we're gonna let these rise a little bit and then we're gonna boil them and bake them. about to go live for our tumbler glasses on Dairy Boy. I'm just gonna be here for a minute watching the sales, it's really fun. And then I think I'm gonna go ride. We just changed into my riding clothes. I left my riding boots in Florida because I've been riding a lot while I've been there. So these are definitely gonna hurt. I'm going for a little lesson with my friend and yeah. Here are the French toast bagels. They turned out so good. I had a little bite of another one and they're literally exactly like the ones from my hometown. Okay, good morning guys. So today is Friday and I have a sort of busy weekend this weekend, but today I'm gonna be going to have a full day with my mom. We are gonna be going to Newport, Rhode Island. And I have a few work things that I need to do today that I thought that I could film there. That would be really fun. And then obviously I could take you guys with me. Newport, Rhode Island is so cute. It's sort of like the Nantucket, I guess, in my eyes of Rhode Island. I know it's, I think, older than Nantucket, but it just reminds me a lot of Nantucket and the summers that I spent growing up on Nantucket. So I'm really excited today. We're gonna go get lunch, I think play some tennis, walk around, and then I have a few things that I need to film today. But I thought I would take you guys with me because Newport is just so cute. Oh, before I went, I just wanted to say, a lot of you guys were asking me in my Paris vlog where these PJs were from. These are my brand Dairy Boys PJs. And you're launching a bunch of new PJs this summer. It's pretty much the same body as our Christmas PJs. We tweaked it a little bit in some places just to sort of make it perfect. We grabbed a new, more buttery fabric. The last fabric was super soft, but this is even softer. We have this in white, light blue, and pink. So that's launching the summer for those who were asking about that. But I'm just gonna go get dressed now, and then I'm gonna head to Newport. Hi, can I please have a small iced um, coffee with vanilla? I want to show you guys the street that I grew up on because it's so, so pretty, especially this time of year. This is one of my favorite houses. It's over there. I don't want to show it because of like their privacy, but it's so pretty. And then there are all these fields. It's like a really long, pretty private road. This is my best friend Max's house. And there's this huge field. And then there's our house. Queen! You ready? I'm ready. In your tennis whites. <laughs> you look so cute. And then I'll just quickly show you guys a little bit of my parents' house because they just did a bunch of renovations and I think it looks so good. Okay, so is this room done, Mom? Oh, nope. That piece of furniture just came in. So they redid the floors. They look really, really pretty. I love these darker floors. And then the kitchen. 
This is new, this marble. This is really pretty marble. From Vermont, right? So pretty. So cute. Here's my dad's office. I actually love this room. I've always loved this room, even though it's super masculine because the dark wood, but fun. I knew this, but my dad went to Yale for undergrad and he was the captain of the golf team and my grandma got his um, sweater framed. I think it's really cool. One thing, mom, I'm a little upset about. The front door here used to be this gorgeous dark red color and it was so pretty and like kind of looked like a big barn door. Now it's black. Okay, so this is the ad that I'm shooting, one of the ads that I'm shooting while I'm there for Smart Water, which is such a cool company to be working with, so. really good. I asked my mom to find the best lobster roll in Newport and this is, you deliver. You <laughs> deliver. It is Sunday. I did not honestly vlog this weekend with my friends that much, which is kind of nice because I was just having so much fun and was being very present. But I'll give you guys like a little recap because I did vlog like a little bit. Anyways, I definitely wanted to vlog today for you guys. Today we're going to a polo match in Greenwich, which is just like a few towns over from me. They have a whole polo club there and they invited my friends and I, so we're super excited to go. I was going to a lot of polo matches in Florida and Wellington, so it'll be cool to go to a few more. But I also am trying to go to a few more matches in London when I'm in London, if it all works out. But I'm about to head out now. I'm wearing boots from Aloha. I think that's the dresses from Reformation. Mm -hmm. 